give you glory all glory to you all praises to you thank you abba father thank you holy spirit and read and also my dear brothers and sisters in every family there is a structure after marriage i already spoke to you about the holiness of your married marriage the sacramental marriage and after once you are married there is also a structure for the family which the church speaks about there is a structure that is the husband wife their relationship husband is considered as the head of the family the wife and the whole family also has to respect the position the office of the husband and the husband also has to respect and honor the office and the position of the wife and the children has to respect and honor the office and position of their parents and this is one area where everyone has got a big problem who is the head of the family husband or wife in the bible we know the bible very clearly speaks husband is the head of the family now when i say this all the heads of the family the so called husbands must be so happy and straightening the head but remember it is not a sign of authority but it is a ministry being the head of the family means it's a ministry it is not a power or authority being each person in the family has got a ministry why do we say why the, why the husband is the head why not the wife is the head so everyone when i say this many women were be were not be happy because you are already dreaming about being a head but remember one thing being a head is not a sign of authority it's a ministry ministry will be different for everyone i'll explain to you with the bible passages first one when god created adam and eve both of them committed sin first eve committed sin second adam committed sin but when god came and questioned did god question eve first or adam first god asked adam adam where are you first question was to adam adam has to be responsible for the whole family because he is the head when god comes how can he ask the hands or legs when the head is there and in the new testament holy family who is the most holy person in the holy family jesus second most holy person mother mary third joseph why joseph is the third because mother mary is immaculate conception born without original sin she is a chosen vessel of god himself and then remember if you read the bible you may understand one thing once they are married the holy family suddenly though joseph joseph the mother mary is more holier than holier than joseph jesus and mother mary is the mother of the almighty god remember angel came and spoke only once to mother mary but after that marriage for all the guidance for all the help all the correction all the every guidance and everything was given to joseph at midnight when mary and child jesus is sleeping god the angel came and woke joseph up and said get up and take take your take the mother and child and go to egypt and suddenly at midnight joseph got up and woke mother mary up and said take get up take the baby let us go to egypt then mother mary could have said you keep quiet and sleep i am more connected to god than you i am holier than you i am the mother of the almighty god who are you to teach me don't be a bossy she could have said this because she has all the right to say that but she was obedient not even one single and a uh, single question she asked 